Hi everyone and welcome back to the second day of our live streamed Arm Tech Talks from Las Vegas and CES. I'm your host Tobias McBride and all week together with some of our incredible Arm partners I'm going to be bringing you some of the awesome Arm innovations at this show from our partner ecosystem and this Arm Tech Talk series really is the best place for you to discover the latest trends, technologies and best practices from the Arm ecosystem. So welcome, thank you so much for joining us. You know, CES, we really want to inspire and excite you about what's coming from ARM's partners. And so when you look at all the tech that's being unveiled at CES, ask yourself, is this built on ARM? Because it probably is. And just look at what a day we had yesterday. I hope you managed to catch just some of the live streams we had. We had Lenovo, who talked about their brand new, just announced ARM-powered M11 lap, uh, tablet launched at CES and we showed off some awesome AI capabilities of it as well. Future of automotive and the software defined vehicle. Today, it's entirely automotive focused as we build upon that very exciting announcement yesterday in the automotive world of the STV Alliance. You know, we talked about it a bit with RTI, but that collaboration of collaborations between Autozar, Cavesa, Eclipse, STV and Sophie. And talking of Sophie and talking of ARM, one of the members of Sophie and showcasing a really cool ARM-based demo behind me is Tata Technologies, whose booth I'm at today. Really excited to be at today. And of course, I'm not alone. Uh, I'm not going to be talking about this demo. I'm thrilled to be joined by Shankara, who's the practice leader of software design vehicles at Tata. Shankara, hi, thank you so hi, much for joining us for today's ARM Tech Talk. Yeah. Really appreciate it. How was CES yesterday? First day we had, and we are just going to have a packed day again today. Again, yeah. I can imagine, I can yeah, imagine it's yeah. a really exciting demo. Yeah, you're showing yeah. off Sophie, you're yes. showing off ARM technology. We're going to get to that in just a second. Yeah, um, tell me a bit more about Tata Technologies, though, because some people on the call and on a yeah. webinar will have heard about you guys, but yeah. some may not. Tell us a bit more about Tata Technologies. So, uh, Tata Technologies is you know, we are one of the largest automotive focused engineering and digital services company. We are you know, present across the globe in all the automotive hubs. And as you know, we are Tata, so we are part of the the, the Tata conglomerate based out yep. of India. And uh, we do everything from you know vehicle engineering to software for the vehicles, the digital backend support for the vehicles. So everything in automotive A to Z is what we specialize in. Our DNA is an automotive company. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. And you guys have been uh, recently joined Sophie, right? How's that Absolutely. been going? Yeah, Sophie is fantastic. You know, we have been uh, members for uh, at the at Sophie Consortium since the last one year. Mm -hmm. uh, we first met at the uh, the Sophie Symposium about a year back. Oh, awesome! And yeah. that's, that was the inspiration for us to actually join at Sophie. We looked at all of the cool stuff what Sophie was creating from a cloud native development to the edge, and that was a starting point. And the last one year has been fantastic. Yeah, and that's what you're going to see today. Yeah, absolutely. And before we get to that, you know, we had the uh, announcement yesterday as well. Yeah. You know, I talked about it, the SDV Alliance. Oh, Sound, yeah. I know. Yeah. I'm really excited about if you yeah, can't tell. Yeah. What's your take on it? would love to get your take on the SDV Alliance. So, I think SDV Alliance is one of the most powerful steps we have taken to progress on the software-defined vehicle development. Yeah. Uh, we are a member at the AutoCell Consortium. That we are a member as, uh, uh, you know, Sophie as well. We are yeah. in the pro you know, process to get into the Covesa and uh, as well as the Eclipse Consortium. If you really look at the landscape, Autosar is trying to solve the problem of basic software mm. and Sophie is trying to bring in the cloud-native development on the exactly. ARM, at the edge on the server. And we have uh, Covesa, which is trying yes. to standardize the APIs and the signals. And Eclipse is trying to bring the whole of open source the ecosystem into the thing. And all of them have been trying to solve all of these you know, problem statements independently. And getting all of them together through the SDB Alliance is going to be so powerful. And it's going to enable and accelerate the whole SDB development for the whole of the industry. Yeah. And I am super excited about that announcement. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And you, know, you talked about it there, just there, but about this kind of our ARM cloud to edge native story, right? Yeah, We're gonna, yeah. let's talk about this now in this demo. So sure, let's yeah. bring in our, uh, our other camera to do, yeah, I'm just gonna sure, change yeah. our, uh, our camera and uh, we'll bring that in now. Yeah. So, you know, I'd love for you to show off this, this demo because you're showing off ARM-based technology. Yeah. You're showing off some incredible work with Sophie as well as all the other consortium you mentioned. Absolutely. And there's a really great cloud to edge story here. So sure. why don't you just take us through some of the elements of this awesome yeah. demo you've got here at CES. Yeah. So what we have here is basically an uh, automotive grade, uh, you know, system on chip, which is basically on the ARM IP. So it's, it's leveraging the ARM A53 core and a core M7 core, which is coming from NXP over here. And uh, what you see here in the whole setup from the left, uh, we have a, a, a small uh, a simulator cluster, instrument cluster over here on the screen, which is going to show you all of the outputs and the, you know, the doors, signals and etc. And what you have here at the center is the, the actual automotive electronic control unit hardware, which is again based on the ARM 
IP over here. And, uh, and we have a whole of the software. What you can see is the SOFI layer on the bottom. Then you have the Autosat stack, the Covisa mm -hmm. uh, vehicle signal APIs, and the Eclipse open source Tuxa uh, component. Along with it, we have a couple of containers hosting a variety of applications, which includes an AAML application, CPU monitoring, and et cetera. And what you see on the screen on the right here is the AWS dashboard, which is showing all of the data pulled in from the vehicle, which is able to visualize and show you what is the fuel level. And it also shows you what is the consumption of the CPU, which yeah. is running inside the vehicle, which is going to be quite critical when we talk about software-defined vehicles with all of the complex software, right? Absolutely. And uh, what you see here on the big screen is the complete big picture of the whole system. And uh, you know, as you can rightly see, we are showcasing the chip to cloud solutions for software defined vehicles, yeah. which means all the way from the chip to the cloud, everything, uh, the, the whole life cycle of the software development, which starts from the development, the deployment, the virtual validation, uh, in, which includes the artificial ML model, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the ML training on the cloud. And as what you can see on the right is the connectivity part, which is the whole AWS IoT connectivity, yeah. which brings in the connectivity between the vehicle and the cloud and as well as the edge user over here so yeah so that that's the whole system over here and uh, do you have any questions here? yeah no it's great to see arm based servers in the cloud yeah, and that yeah. that story as you say you know from cloud to edge that deployment and yeah. development you know, we've got the Graviton servers in the cloud deployment on the edge with the NXP chip. So yeah. really great to see that. Yeah. Do you have something you want to show us yeah, on the yeah, tablet sure. as well? So we have uh, a small, uh, you know, uh, a cool application over here, uh, which is basically like a, you know, a remote application. Oh. Yes. Sort of like, you know, controls your uh, vehicle dose and the HVAC and the temperature and all of that stuff. So, you know, it, it's just like I can remotely uh, lock and unlock my door. Basically, what happens is whatever I operate here, it goes all the way wirelessly to the cloud, yep. gets processed, goes back to the vehicle, and then the vehicle sends the appropriate signal to the respective clusters. And you yeah. can see I have unlocked the door. And similarly, I can sort of, uh, you know, control the temperature, which gets instantly updated. Um, so the, the focus here is, I mean, not just on the, um, on the app over mm. here, but the overall use case of how ARM's IP and the SOFI the whole software integration beautifully fits in into this whole demo over it, here. Right? It really does. Yeah, it really yeah. does. No, I'd love to have that in my car. Unfortunately, mine's about 10 years old. So yeah. <laughs> uh, I've still got wind up windows in mine. Yeah. So that kind of remote capability and that software defined vehicle really yeah. excites me. So Absolutely. it's great to see that starting yeah. to happen. But what you're doing is just going to accelerate that Absolutely. together with ARM, together with Sophie and all of our other partners. Right. This is really so, exciting. Yeah. So like like I said, you know, the, the, the beauty of uh, Sophie is that we, we go with the motto of develop in the cloud and deploy it on the vehicle, right? Exactly. So that's exactly what we are showcasing. So you can see the virtual validation piece, mm. basically meaning that I can develop all of these applications natively on the cloud and move those workloads absolutely, you know, with full ISA parity onto the edge. And that's that that makes the whole development process more efficient. Mm. And, uh, you know, um, when we look at software defined vehicles, we are we're always going to take an analogy of how the mobile phones have evolved in the last you know, decade, right? I mean, it, it, it all started with a simple communication device to what we have as multiple applications coming into your phone. Yeah. That's exactly what we see as software defined vehicles uh, uh, is happening right now. So we are going to turn the vehicle into a smartphone on wheels, yeah. which means there's going to be a huge application development community. Absolutely. who's going to be developing a lot of cool applications coming into the car which means that you need an absolutely efficient development environment. And that's what is being enabled through Sophie here. Absolutely. That's really exciting to see, as you say, that, that cloud to edge story, together yeah. with the low power, innovative nature of ARM and our partners, yeah. together with what you're doing, just combines together to really exactly. make this as a yeah. really exciting opportunity for the automotive yeah. world. Yeah. So yeah. thank you. This is a really thank great you. demo. So, yeah, sure. you know, um, let's switch back to our, uh, our other camera. This is really, really awesome. And actually, I'd really encourage you to come and see this. If you're at CES and you're watching now and you think, I'm just about to head to the show. Do come along and take a look at it. Before we wrap up, do you have any final words you want to share with the audience today? Yeah. So I think, you know, uh, anyone here at, out at the CES, please come to our booth. We are at uh, North Hall 10855. Mm -hmm. We look forward to showcasing you all of the innovations we have here. We have a couple of more cool demos on cybersecurity, our digital support, our vehicle engineering, all of it super cool. So looking forward to see you all here. Absolutely. I've seen those. So I know yeah. we've only focused on this demo, but really do come and check it out. The booth is awesome. As yeah. you say, it's in the North Hall, so do come and check it out. Yeah. So that concludes the first of today's Arm Tech Talk live streams. I hope you've enjoyed it. 
just as much as we have here. It's been awesome. Thank you again Thank so you. much for an awesome demo. Uh, at five o'clock Pacific time today, we're going to be joined by Green Hill Software, and they're going to talk more, even more about Software Divine Vehicle. They've got some great demos as well. And if you've missed any of these tech talks, they're all available on the ARM YouTube channel. So do go and check those out. It's on our ARM Tech Talk playlist as well. So if you want to make sure you don't miss any of those, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Shankara, thank you so thank much you, again. Thank you. And sure. thank you yeah. everyone for joining. We will see you at 5 p.m. with Green Hill Software live from CES as we bring ARM innovations to the world in our ARM Tech Talk series. We'll see you then. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.